fresh air. Just one of the things organisms need. Nah, I'm pretty sure I could live on just tacos. <laughs> well, tacos are a food, so technically, you're right. You know what you talk about. <laughs> organisms also need water and shelter. Nah, pretty sure all I need are just some tasty, crunchy tacos. Let's just start the video. An organism is any living thing, from the tiniest bacteria to the enormous elephant or even blue whale. Organisms are living things that are a part of the environment. Animals and plants are organisms. Living things need air, water, and food to stay alive. Non-living things do not. Sand, glass, wood, those are examples of non-living things. But both animals and plants need water. That's right, Quinn. And hey, guess what? Did you know that scientists have identified about 1.5 million different kinds of living things on our planet? That's one and a half million. Scientists can tell living things and non-living things apart by how they behave. That's right again, Quinn. For example, all living things can move by using their own energy. Even though plants do not move from where they are planted, they do move their leaves to get sunlight. And living things are also able to feel when they are touched, or they have a sense of hot and cold. Organisms usually need air, water, nutrients or food for energy, and a place to live. However, not all living things need all these at the same time. There are seven characteristics of living things. Living things need to move. Birds will walk, hop, or fly. Fish will swim, and horses will also walk or run. Even plants sometimes move. If you touch the leaves of the mimosa plant, the leaves quickly close shut. In living things, organisms need nutrition, which is how organisms get energy. These are things like proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Green plants make their own food with the help of sunlight and animals eat plants and sometimes other animals to get their energy. Living things need to grow by making new parts and replacing old ones. For example, a human baby will grow into an adult and a young animal will grow into an adult animal. Plants grow too. When cells in the plant divide, the plant then becomes larger and stronger. Do you think that's true, or do you think maybe when everybody's sleeping, they go to the gym? What? Yeah, I don't think that's how it works, Gus. Anyway, living things require respiration, which is the breaking down of chemicals to release energy to be used by the organism. People and animals breathe in oxygen and then breathe out carbon dioxide. And then green plants take in the carbon dioxide through their leaves and release back oxygen. All living organisms create waste or bodily excretion by the process of just simply living. And most of the waste comes from nutrients or food. The organism removes this waste so it cannot cause illness or sometimes even death. After they take in nutrients by eating or consuming it, they get rid of the part that is not useful for energy. Do you know what that means? Yes. What? They consume it. And then what? They get rid of the part that is useful, that is not useful for How? energy. How? How, Katie? <laughs> Say it! Say it! Boom! Say it! Boom! <laughs> Pooping! You can't embarrass me like that. All living things reproduce. They make new living things by producing offspring. For example, 
Plants have seeds that grow into new plants. Humans have babies and an adult chicken lays eggs. Later, a chick hatches from that egg. All living things are able to sense and respond to things such as light, temperature, water, gravity, and even chemical elements. For example, when green plants grow, their leaves or branches grow towards the sunshine. Hey, guess what? Some organisms are made up of millions of cells, and some organisms are so tiny you need a microscope to see them. These are called microorganisms. So what is a non-living thing? This is a pretty easy one. Non-living things are things that are not alive. They do not require air, food, or water, and they can't move or grow. And non-living things do not reproduce. There are two types of non-living things. The first are things that were alive once, but not now. For example, coal. And the other type of non-living things are things that were never alive. Stone and gold are examples of things that were never alive. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know about organisms living and non-living things. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye.